It's a light heavyweight matchup between John Jones and Anderson Silva. Still considered by many to be the greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time. Here he is, Joe Anderson, the Spider Silva, 16-0 to start his UFC career. That is still a UFC record. 10 consecutive middleweight title defenses, an outstanding highlight reel. He has left so many high-profile athletes in his wake. And Silva, Joe, still competitive here well past his 40th birthday. Anderson Silva is the most accurate striker we have ever measured in the UFC. Incredible timing, devastating Muay Thai technique, and a really underappreciated ground game to go with it. So back in 2011, he became the youngest champion in UFC history, Johnny Bones has gone on to become the consensus greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Every skill in the book, he has got it. He has dominated. And in terms of the strength of schedule, you can argue no UFC champion has had it tougher than John Bones Jones. John Jones may very well be the greatest single talent we have ever seen inside the octagon. An incredible athlete, very intelligent and driven man. He has all of the ingredients of greatness. the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Silva is 12 years his senior. Jones is two inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. We said it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, her team. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting at a Cura team of Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider. Man is a much see do fighter, only a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, John. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here we go. All right, so we get another look at John Bones Jones here tonight. He immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see if he goes to the striking here early. We know he can also grapple with the best of them, but an obvious reach advantage yet again for John Bones Jones tonight. 84 and a half inches in reach, something that is very difficult for opponents to count. Whiffs on the elbow. 
Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? One thing to look out for whenever John Jones fights is his elbows. He is outstanding at landing them, has beautiful timing, and some serious power behind them. That punch will work right through the door. Side kick. Oh, solid leg kick. Those are gonna really start to take their toll. He landed that punch flush. He's, he's hurt. Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, straight right. Nasty left hand lands to the body. Knee to the body. Head kick! Oh! Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You gotta get that head off the center line. Just a slip there. Nice jab. Just over two minutes to go. Damaging strike there. Hook to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Silva lands flush. Oh, Whoa. look at that though. Oh, he clipped him. He's got him hurt. Nice leg kick. He's got him hurt here. Oh, huge shot there. Silva's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Landed that one. Busy as he looks to improve position here. And he's trying to pass. Reversal here, and in the full bar. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Moves to half guard. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Silva gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. And he's looking for that left. Jones gets tattooed by that stiff jab. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So the horn sounds after that round. Might have even been a 10-8 big round there from Silk. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here it is again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Anderson Silva is an all-time great, one of the most accurate strikers to ever fight in the UFC. Fantastic submission skills and an incredibly strong mental game as well. Nice punch by Jones. And the kick lands. Jones gets caught with that punch. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Powerful leg kick. Oh! What a leg kick. Hard straight punch. Constantly a moving target. That bruise on his outer thigh is really starting to swell up bad. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Well, yet again, he goes back to the jab and he lands it. And defensively, this fighter is going to have to figure something out. He continues to lean into his opponent's striking range. He's going to have to stick and move and figure out a way to get his head off the center line. Oh, a huge block there. 
Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Well, you heard him on that one. He's in trouble right now. Back to the oh, feet! He him. Oh! Right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tough. Oh, clipped him again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he might be out. This could be it right here. Oh, he tagged him to the left. And now a head kick to boot. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right hand man. Oh, beautiful straight right. Oh, that cut is a real factor now, Joe. He is pleading out. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped this one. Oh! Pretty strong jab there by Jones. Final seconds here of round number two. Oh! Beautiful right Oh, he might be out. And the horn sounds on round two. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good... What a brawl. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Follows it up with a nice combination. Jones gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, huge block! Effective jab there by Silva. These guys are swinging. How about that shin? Attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Faints with the punch. Big straight punch. Oh! Oh! oh. This could be it. Oh, good combination. Oh, he might be out. Cracks oh. in there with the Big right, right hand. hand. He's hurt bad. He is in oh. trouble. Oh, he got and just like that. Accurate uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Here we see it from a different angle. Check out this angle here. I mean, just stiff. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. And playing the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider Silva. Well, his smile lights up the room, and his performance lit up this arena tonight. Congratulations to the wildly popular Anderson Silva. No matter where we go in the world, Silva about as beloved and respected as it gets, and you've gotta think he still enjoys a win of this magnitude.